I'm photographer David Bergman and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. People often ask what my favorite piece of equipment is. They want me to say it's some camera, lens, or flash, but one of the most important things I carry on every shoot with me is... Gaffer's tape. What is gaffer's tape? I'm glad you asked me that. It's oftentimes confused with duct tape, but it's very different because it's made of a fabric instead of vinyl, so it's very easy to rip with your hands. Also, more importantly, it doesn't leave a sticky residue like duct tape does, so when you peel it off, you don't have gunk all over your gear. Black gaffer's tape is the most common, and besides the big rolls, I always keep some on my monopod and my flash cases so it's handy at all times. I also recently found these little rolls of it so I can throw them around and have them in my bags and never leave home without it. In film, TV, and theater production, it's common to tape cords down to the floor so that no one trips. But as a photographer, I have lots of other uses for this stuff. I use it to tape my lens hoods to the lens so that those pesky things don't fall off, which they do all the time. I also tape colored gels in my strobes using the tape so that it doesn't rip the plastic when I pull it off. And if I have a cord that might easily fall out, a few well-placed pieces of gaff will keep that sucker in all day long. Gray or white gaffer's tape is great for labeling things with a Sharpie. I can mark my shooting position at a game, for example, and label all of my lens caps so I can tell what's what with just a quick glance in my bag. They make colored tape too. Some people like to put that stuff all over their cameras so that they can identify their gear if they're in a group of people who might have the same kind of equipment. No one will mistake their gear for yours if it's covered in bright neon green tape. These are just a few of my common uses of gaffer's tape, but I've found so many other interesting ways to use it over the years. Oh wait, I actually just thought of 10 more. So wait, sit down, I'm gonna go through each one of them. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for more amazing tips and tricks.